Hello everybody, this is Matt Cat here and I just want to uh, upload a video talk about uh, a few things doing uh, um, I'm a, I'm an exercise. I know you guys don't uh, haven't seen me do any chi cultivating, chi developing, chi activating exercises, but I want to show you one right now. I just saw one on YouTube right now, it's very easy. I don't know what it what it's called, but it's uh, it's a basic uh, telekinesis. Uh, I think it, sh it can be a, a telekinesis um, activating thing. And uh, it, 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 it doesn't have a specific name to it. I just look right now. But I'm going to show you guys this uh, exercise that's real simple that you guys can do. And I've actually have done it just uh, a few hours ago. I've been doing it. And I've seen a great, uh, a great what I feel is chi energy developing. And, and I'll explain what that is. That What you guys want to do if you guys want to practice this is you have your right hand on your... Uh, you, you get on your knees like this, like how I am. And you have your right hand right here on the front, like this. You get comfortable, you get like this, and you put your left hand underneath um, the left part of your stomach, right where the hip is. And just kind of like as, as you see me do it, just do it like this. And then what you guys want to do is get real comfortable. You could do it on the floor or whatever. Make sure the right hand is in the front part of the knee right here, as you see. Pretty self-explanatory. You put the hand right next uh, uh, under the belly, next to the belly and the top hip. And you just sit in there relaxed. And then what you do is that exercise is all exercise is. You get in this position. And you just breathe in by with your mouth or your nose. But the, the main thing is I think the mouth works better. You make a deep breath in like you're going in to dive under the water. Let me show you guys. And you breathe out real strongly with real force. You're breathing out like if you're trying to um, um, extinguish a flame, you know, like a, like a like something, or, or trying to um, um, inflate a balloon or something, or like those inflatable beds. You know, you you take a breath, deep breath in. Make sure you have your hand like this. And you want the, the exhale to be longer, as you see, more longer than the inhale. You want to bring in a lot of air, but you don't want that to last too long. You just want to bring it in and blow it out. And you want that to be long, and you want this the, ex the, the, the blowing out to be longer and more forceful than the breathing in. The breathing in should be forceful too, but the blowing out should be more forceful and more longer. So you kind of breathe in, relax like this. Like that. Like that, as you see. And I want to share that and I want you guys to try that. And, um, and the thing is, though, is that, um, what is happening is that, um, um, I may not uh, uh, have enough uh, time to, to uh, talk about the other things, but what I talk about is what's happening with this exercise is that with any chi, uh, chi energy exercise is that um, your body is being, you're, you're, you're just moving your body around and you're just doing something to move the body and you're getting it involved and you're, you're getting it moving and doing and breathing in. You know, you're getting something going. And so what chi energy is to me, my theory of chi energy, is that you're just um, psyching yourself up. It's a psych up. The chi energy is already inside of you, but what you're doing is that when you're doing the hand movements or the other chi exercises, you know, whatever they do, these types of things, whatever, what you're doing is that you're just getting your body and your mind just into a position where you know, um, you're getting your blood flowing, and the blood that could be that that's chi energy. Your bone, your bones are moving. That's chi energy. You know, you're you're bringing in, you know, the air in and out. You're breathing in and out. That's chi energy too, because the chi energy is the life force, which is this life itself and life existence. And so, when you're doing a chi energy exercise, when when they say you need to, you're you're activating your chi energy. What you're really doing. Is that you're just um, you're you're just psyching yourself up. You're you're, you're just psyching yourself. And, and then when you breathe in the chi energy, when you breathe with, with, with this exercise, this is probably the best one because I have a lot of good positive um, 
a lot, a lot of good feelings about it. it. I feel a little more percolated inside. It's little, it's more percolating. You know, I feel something. I feel like more awake and more uh, perked up a little bit more. And so what it is is that uh, um, um, you, you're just kind of like psyching yourself up, and and it's just like the the the, the chi energy is is your awakening of your mind. That's the chi energy basically. Is is your is yourself just being more more enthusiastic and optimistic? You're kind of perking yourself up and getting yourself more awake and kind of you know waking up a little bit. That's what that that's what activating chi energy is. Activating chi energy is getting yourself just just there, there in the moment, getting yourself in the moment, feeling it. You know that's what chi energy basically is, and um and that's what chi energy exercises does. That just kind of perks you up and kind of snaps you out of a little funk you know it kind of gets you in the zone because you're doing something repetitively and that that uh the exercise is so simple so straightforward that i recommend you guys do it and um, i'm gonna start doing it more often before i do my telekinesis echinesis things and uh, and and uh, i know and i hope it's gonna help me a lot with it to get me in the zone and feel good but it's gonna take a lot of weeks and months to get into it and everything but and those are the things i want to show with you guys there was another thing i want to talk about with the, with the delta exercises but um but the but but the, the main thing is though is that um that's what i want to share with you guys i don't have to be too long practice that that exercise I told you guys watch the video again to understand what it is very simple we then do it like about like like 10 or 20 times much times you want and you know you'll start to feel like more um in the zone start to feel more more uh more energized and what what energized means is that you're just getting yourself out of a certain mind state negative mind state and you're putting yourself in a better mind state that's what chi activation is it's just getting yourself in a better mood getting yourself in a much more healthier emotional mood that's what chi activation is to me that's why i think it really is you know <clears throat> and um cultivating chi energy what that is is just a, it's a metaphor what it is that you're just getting yourself more often in in the positive zone cultivating you know is basically just making sure that you're always in a good mood that's what chi energy is making yourself mentally and physically feel good and that's that's what it is basically um one one theory that i've had about telekinesis and what is involved with it is um i knew that the that the dream states and the reality uh, need to need to find finally be tuned um balanced just right in order for uh, objects to be affected by the human body, by the human spirit, and that is, uh, and I found out that because I saw a video of the uh, telekinesis mind possible, um, this 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 gentleman, I think you guys have seen him, um, he uploaded a video uh, where he had a EEG um, monitor and he saw that there was all the different brain waves, uh, the the beta and the theta and all the other ones that were involved, but when he had the psycho uh, the the cellular moving, he saw that the beta waves were, were being manipulated and and being shown more obvious on the meter than the other brain waves, and so what that says to me is that he also said that the that the that the delta is more deeply involved in sleeping deep sleep deep sleep state, which means that it's it's connected to the dream state to the to the to the dream world when you're dreaming, and and I had a theory right when I started psychokinesis that that it's the fantasy and the re and the reality fusing together the dreams the dream states of your fantasy you know the dream states and reality kind of finding fine tuning and finding that perfect balance where they become uni uh, unified to move the objects around you and so uh that's one thing that i want to talk about is that the delta is deeply involved in psychokinesis and that was proved correct and i'm very happy and i hope that he's still going through some studies and going through all that uh still um looking into it and everything but i i, I think that um that the delta brain waves are going to be deeply involved and as he does more research into it, he's going to find out that it's going to be the same thing and as rick says is mad cat spirit thing is what